my name is Luik. I'm from Lovulum. We're based in Vechte, West Flanders, Belgium. All right. Uh, tell me, Lovio, how did you start it? Um, I started uh, five years ago uh, working at Brewery Alvin. That's where my passion for craft beer started. Uh, and now we're um, doing fermentations of ciders, fruit wines, and blending that with beers, uh, maceration of fruits, herbs, a bit of everything. Yeah. And you're doing it now for five years, so the, the first, first pearls are coming out of the barrels now, or how? Um, our own experiments started three or four years ago, uh, and now we're still doing a lot of paperwork. Uh, we filled our first barrels recently, so we hope to have something on the market by next year. Yeah. Um, you mentioned beers and ciders. What's the direction on long term you want to go? Like 50-50 or...? We have no idea. Um, we're not brewing ourselves, but we do ferment our own ciders from apples, pears, quince, and we ferment our own fruit wines from everything, blackberry, raspberry, rhubarb, plums, uh, cherries, and then we try to blend that into new creations. Um, yeah. where, where do you find the, the fruity ingredients always? Um, a lot of friends have cherry trees or blackberry bushes, um, so we try to go there. And we also go to biological farms to harvest um, raspberries, uh, rhubarb. Uh, so even with the grapes, we try to work with uh, friends that are vignerons in France and Germany. Uh, so we try to have a relationship with who provides us with their business. Yeah. Um, what are the first uh, beers and ciders you want to have in your fixed portfolio in the future? So now we have um, a rhubarb wine that's aging on a bourbon barrel, which contains meat from the Medri before. So that's going to be um, for sure one that we're going to have, but might be blended later again with lambic or cider. Um, we like to work a lot with um, slow berries as well. Um, it's going to depend on the season. Like last season we saw it was a very bad season for cherries, so there were no cherries. Um, this season it's pretty good, we got a lot of cherries. So uh, we're not sure, we're going to see on what nature is going to give us. Uh, what's the main feedback you're getting from going to festivals uh, like Swap and other ones? People are interested, they're eager to buy our products, um, but it's not possible yet. Um, but the main feedback we get is, uh, or what we want to get out of it, is presenting a lot of different experiments and then seeing which are the ones that are um, most liked so we can continue those ones on a bigger scale. Yeah. Um, what is the most challenging of uh, starting up your business? The paperwork. Uh, because me and my colleague, we both have a fixed job and we do this next to it. So uh, it's nice to go pick fruits, ferment them, do all experiments. But the paperwork that comes with it is uh, not the fun part. All right. Can people already visit you? Or? Uh, they could, but we don't really have a production facility. It's in the cellar of my parents. But we do tastings from time to time in Antwerp, Brussels, Ghent, festivals if we're invited. So uh, if they want to taste our products, it's best to follow our social media. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers.